Hello everyone, my name is Trevor with SkySiv. In this video, we'll be going over the brand new features of the SkySiv Revit plugin uh, with a brand new user interface and expanded functionality. This really should be a fun video. Uh, some of the quality of life fixes in the most recent version of the SkySiv plugin and include just some general bug fixes and some enhanced association between Revit elements and their structural 3D counterparts. Um, so if you haven't tried out the SkySiv Revit plugin yet, feel free to check it out in the link in the description or check it out on the Autodesk store as well. So in the previous version of the plugin, users are really only able to take their Revit model, export it uh, directly into SkySiv Structural 3D. Um, and while that feature has been enhanced, the major addition to this plugin is the ability for users to analyze and design their model directly within Revit, taking advantage of the SkySiv API. Revit users are going to be able to add analytical aspects to their model, like line loads, point loads, uh, both to their members as well as, well as some area loads to faces. Um, which is just a fancy term Revit uses to describe things like floors and walls. So uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. So with that, let's get started. We're going to use this example to go through uh, just an example workflow here and showcase some of these new features. So our example Revit model here is just a uh, structural steel frame type structure with uh, you know some staggered uh, framing, as you can see here. And then if we actually go to the analytical view, we can see that we have our structure here, but we also have some staggered, uh, you know, some staggered distributed loads on the side acting as wind loads, as well as some uh, downward distributed loads on top as well. So to start the process, let's head to the SkySiv tab here. You can see the new interface, we can see the new icons, but make sure when you start here that you click on your settings button, you have your API key here and you have your username as well. And if you click this button, uh, this link here, it's going to direct you, uh, you know, to your SkySiv account where you can pull those values. And here are the other um, settings as well. So we'll hit save. So the first thing we can do is just click on the export button. What this is going to do is it's going to take all of our, um, you know, Revit data here, including the member data, all the load data. It's going to export all of that uh, into a structural 3D file, and it's going to create that file automatically and house it in a brand new file that's going to be automatic or a brand new folder that's created called the Revit folder. So we click OK. And I'll pull this in here. After you hit OK, now we can see here's our identical uh, construction, our identical member here. And if we turn on the 3D rendering here, we can see that it's using the same members. It's using the same cross sections, same materials, same loads, all that type of stuff. So, if we... so looking back at our Revit file here, let's try to go through the analysis. So we'll click the drop down, pick an analysis result. Should get this, uh, you know, bar here telling us that the the analysis is going to run. And then once it's completed, we'll get this message here: analysis has been completed successfully. Now we can take a look at the results. So um, I mentioned the word face before. So when you look at the analysis results, it's gonna, there's going to be an option for tabular and there's going to be an option for visual. So in our case, because we don't have any face elements, and what I mean, what I mean by a face is a slab or a floor or a wall or something like that where it needs to be meshed. Uh, and we're just all we have is members here. We can click on announce results. We can cl click on tabular, and now it's going to give us all of our tabulated results that you see when in the actual analytical report if you were to run uh you know the analysis of this inside the actual structural 3d module so we're, we can get our reactions end forces displacements stresses stuff like that and then what's nice as well is you can either export all this data to excel you can view the results in, in a table download, download them as an html uh you know toggle on and off whichever results you'd like so um, a lot of versatility when it comes to looking at and you know manipulating and getting the results uh, of your analysis. And the last thing I'll mention is the node numbers and the member numbers coincide with the uh, numbering system on the actual structural 3D file. Before we get into the design part of this model, let's take a look at uh, a model with some face uh, some face elements to it. Okay, so in this model, we have a couple of concrete floors here. Uh, we have a couple of area loads, um, and you can see this is what I mean by faces. So, um, you know. Basically, like like we have it in uh, in the structure 3D modules plates, uh, that's that's what they would call a face in Revit. So 
couple of loads, like I said, a couple of shafts. If we go to the 3D version of this model, uh, turn on the shaded, you can see that there's a couple of slabs here. With this model, I've already had the analysis run, so let's take a look at the res results. We'll go to results, visual. And now we have a, an arrow with a plus sign. We need to make sure we select whichever face we want to see the results for. We'll click on finish. Now we'll be asked to identify whichever uh, result property we want to see. So um, all these properties are what you can also get when you run a model through a structural 3D uh, analysis. So we'll click on, say, minor principal stresses. Click on one of our load cases or load combinations. We'll click apply. We can see that now we're getting our meshed plate here. We're getting the results um, in terms of the color contour. And then we're getting this, um, you know, range showing us the different results for that, or the different uh, analysis results for our case here. So it's pretty simple overall. We'll go back to our other model and finish out the design part of it. So as I mentioned previously, in addition to analysis, we can also design members directly in Revit. So at the time of the release with this video, uh, codes that are available in the SkySub member design module are the ones that will be available here. Uh, this also means that uh, reinforced concrete members are not currently able to be designed. Um, but in, in this case, since we have steel, uh, we can go ahead and, and do that. So, so to run our design, we need to click on design, start member design, and then make sure to select our code. So we're going to use AISC LRFD here, click on apply, and then similar to analysis, it's going to give us this loading bar here uh, telling us that it's designing the members. And then when it's done, we'll get our little uh, member design check was run successfully. Notice here, click on design results, tabular. And now just like if you're used to seeing the results in Structure 3D, um, it's gonna give us our design results with unity ratios as the values here with all of our failure criteria as the columns. So the axial moment, shear, combined, slenderness, displacement, anything that's has to do with a design criteria or failure criteria that's going to show up. And then uh, similarly to the member design module, we're going to get a nice green or yellow or red uh, indicator to tell us which members fail, which members are passing. And then what's really nice, just like in the member design module, we can take a look at any of these uh, members and you say, you know what, I want to see the detailed hand calculation report for that member. So we'll click on download report for one of these. And I'll bring this in here. Oops, bring it in here. So for that member that I clicked, now we have our design uh, report here that you can use as a deliverable. You can use it to check all of the calculations. Again, this is directly available through the normal browser version of member design uh, module on the SkySub platform, but this is something that you can access directly from uh, Revit without having to ever, ever leave the, the Revit uh, software. So pretty short and sweet, but that's going to wrap up this video highlighting the new and improved Revit functionality. Make sure to check out our plugin in the description and give SkySub a try if you haven't already. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel as well as follow us on LinkedIn and Facebook. Uh, we hope to see you guys on the platform soon.